Hi guys, Chris with Microsoft here with a quick little note on some removable storage. Um, what I've got here is a little SDHC drive. I'm trying to add it to my libraries. Now you can see here it's just a standard SD card. I want to make my let's say documents folder extend out so that I can actually store the documents on this little SDHC card. But the problem I'm running into when I go into properties and I try to add that location it's gonna tell me I'm sorry this is not good. This folder can't be included because it's on a removable device. Alright, so the way that we can get around this and, um, uh, and, and overcome this, this problem is to mount that in a different location. So what I'm going to come in here and do is I'm going to go into Users, I'm going to find the CH Davis, and so here's a lot of my folders. I'm just going to create an empty folder and um, we're going to call this uh, SD card, I guess. That would be fine. doesn't really matter what we call this. Uh, and then we're going to go Windows Key X and we're going to go to Disk Management. And by the way, that's an accelerator key enabled hot uh, key. So what I can do is Windows key X and then actually follow that by K for disk management. That's one of the neat things about Windows 8. And by the way, this trick should work just fine on Windows 7, anything with your libraries on it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, get rid of this partition right here. And let's see, change driver levels and paths. So we're going to kill that drive letter. And then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add a path into the following empty NTSFS folder. So we're going to browse out, go under the users folder, and find this CH Davis SD card folder that we used a minute ago. Click OK. Click OK. And there we go. So now I've just added 30 gigs to that um, to that drive, so or to that folder rather. So now I can come back through here and see this is now a uh, mount point similar to a reparse point if you're familiar with it and this just takes me to my SD card But the cool thing about that is now if I wanted to let's say I'm going to keep all my music out there or my pictures or something like that um, go to my documents library go properties and then add and then I can go in and I can take this SD card include the folder and now it'll allow me to do that I can even take this and set it as the public save and save location and uh, what I'll be doing here in just a minute is changing the way SkyDrive works because I actually like to extend all of my libraries such as this uh, uh, documents library right here I can right click on my documents library and I can go and do this properties and I go in and do what we've been doing here but I can actually change this default to be my SkyDrive folder now why is that important to me well that's important to me because I like to have my tablet and my PC um, and my phone because I use a Windows phone all use uh, the same folder so when I when I am when I'm sitting here uh, on my on my tablet looking at something or my laptop looking at something or my phone looking at something and I save or change a document I need that to automatically update so if for instance I'm over here in my pictures folder go to properties and you can see that it's on my SkyDrive folder but I could actually add the same location that we were looking at earlier going out here once again where I put it you could just put it on the root of C it doesn't really matter so CH Davis and then go in here to this SD card location and then I could put a full subfolder in here we could call all that pictures and, and now I'm going to reprogram SkyDrive so it actually uses that location when I'm when I'm finished with it. So anyway, guys, it's been Chris with Microsoft. I hope this has been somewhat useful to you. If you do uh, find that this has uh, helped you in some way, please click on the like button below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. Uh, also, my blog is at 9z.com. Really easy to remember. It's the last number followed by the last letter, dot com. Uh, that's got links to my Facebook and Twitter and all that wonderful jazz out there. So anyway, again, I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Have a great one. Thank you.